Oh, there she is. Talked to him before. Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire <laughs> awareness and prevention. Good morning to you too, Evan. According to the Department of Forestry, over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high and completely preventable. <laughs> Who says we should prevent fire? Fire is awesome. While I realize you're being purposefully obstructive, you raise a good point. Many parts of our local ecosystem benefit from fire. Knobcone pine cones, for example, which require temperatures above 350 degrees to open. Say knob cone again. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is for college, right? I don't believe you actually care about this. My interest in fire prevention is completely sincere. Besides, I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? She's so artistic. I bet she would be a dream model. What do you think? I guess. I gotta run. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? Uh... Uh, sure. I love assemblies. Some of the best naps of my life. <laughs> wow, thanks. I did not see that coming. You being, you know, interested in complicated issues, helping out with the public. <laughs> Do you want me to change my mind? I... No. <laughs> How seriously am I taking this right now? <laughs> the beer. Smoke weed, the beer. <laughs> if that is an ass clown. <laughs> Do you guys want to decide? I'm not sure. Yes, clown. It would fit her character to take A or D. W. I'm not being S clown. S clown. S clown. <laughs> They're all saying something different. Okay, let's take Nedjad's decision. There you go. Mine Just too. don't expect this to become a habit. Blackwell Academy, home of tomorrow's leaders. Principal Dick's <laughs> big mech <Mac> huge boss. <laughs> nice. <laughs> What? Caring about important issues? Caring in general. <laughs> okay, let's go for the DVD. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. <laughs> Got my DVD. One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night or was it just like a friend thing? Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right <laughs> now. Thanks though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Oh, should we play? Yeah. What 
the hell. Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> nice. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. <laughs> I know. I'm good. All right. Let's get started. You were both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elama, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernum. Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh, Calamastia. Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes... Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscar. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? <laughs> Once made a man keep up. <laughs> I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him, too. True story. <laughs> You stand at a three-way crossing. Mm -hmm. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? Uh, prison camp. <laughs> well, let's send us out on the foot to them, Jimmy. We have no items yet. <laughs> Let's go, eh? Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So, what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Holy shit. <laughs> See why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. <laughs> okay. Strike. Yes, t shirt. <laughs> strike. I don't know. Me. I'd say fatal cleave. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave! You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog <laughs> bun. Nice. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game. It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot oh, survives. Oh, come on, dude. Dang. You'll pay for this. You can just kill him. <laughs> Flip the table, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> um, you'll pay for this or, or we all make mistakes? would say a 
let the chat decide. The first one to write it in the chat wins and decides. Mm -hmm. And so. Okay, just the shank bro wins. Hey. My character raises her axe. You'll pay for ruining all that loot, Elamon. <laughs> By my honor, I apologize. Here, take this potion as a gift. Thanks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Prison camp. Prison camp. Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villain. Oh, what? Two for the nasal piercings, four for the ears, and three for the mouth piercings. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, dude. <laughs> Thanks, man. What's a dragon kid? Dragon kid are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shit face. Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his <laughs> ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying, probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Okay, we get a drink for the donation. Or at least I do. We don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> Nice, we're just a little leak. Ah, she wants to drink it. <laughs> She's drooling. She likes the smell. <laughs> Case for you, Neja. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> yep. Yep. Tempt with bread? <laughs> what? Hmm. Uh, if we do intimidate, we gotta play that mini game again, right? With the insults. Let's do intimidate. Intimidate. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. You can try. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't- I cast communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Now he can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge, <laughs> where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back. His scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? Be puppet. I wiggle my hand. Hey, dragon king guy. Want to become my meat puppet? How it works is I shove my arm up your ass into your <laughs> head, and then I can control your mouth from the inside to say things. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't seem to like that idea. <laughs> Neither do I. The dragon can please with you. Please don't harm me, tall one. But I cannot give you key. Durgaron, much taller and meaner than you. You're short, I say. But I could fix that. I'll just cut off your head and wear it as a top hat. Then you'd be way taller. The dragon can cowers before you, looking left and right. He opens his jaws, and you think he's about to yell for help. I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. This is going to be good. Here's <laughs> what's up. I'm going to carve the skin from your bones. Then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I'll shove your skinless body into so I can carry it around <laughs> with me wherever I go. <laughs> that way, the next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. How does that sound? <laughs> <laughs> cool story, wow. bro. 
That <laughs> was nuts. I'm going to give you a plus 10 bonus to charisma. Go ahead and roll. A small pool of urine collects yep. under the elderly <laughs> dragonkin as, hands trembling, it hands you the keys. Indeed, then once. it dies of fear. Awesome. It dies yeah. of fear. <laughs> Go team. Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. What's <laughs> next? <laughs> okay, well, that's ten. It's tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the raiders of the Black Well, sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. <laughs> Durgaron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. <laughs> Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, you know, Acid Blast. Which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? What'll it be? Uh, Annihilation Strike. I'd say that to Annihilation Strike. Oh, holy shit! Uh, Annihilation Strike! That sounds boss as fuck! One? That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh no, three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs, plural. Severing both feet at the ankles. <laughs> This game is awesome. My feet? <laughs> Durgaron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit. I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgaron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp, stomp, stomp. This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? Jump in front? Dance. <laughs> well, let's jump in front. I jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. I mean, thanks, Calamastia. Okay. Durgaron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgaron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? No. I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. <laughs> We're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgaron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, that again. You will drink away the alcoholism. <laughs> Just do zero teeth, thumb. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Okay, that's another shot. <laughs> okay. One second. <laughs> Doesn't cut snail. There's cat <laughs> hair all over her glass. <laughs> By the way, would wait a second. Rusty said we just drank two shots, that's not right.
No, we drank more. We drank more. <laughs> like almost. Um, swing for his head, swing for his arm. It says swing for his arm. No. The other one's too obvious. Maybe that's. Let's swing for his arm. I bring my axe down onto his arm. The one with the fire bracer thingy. Oh, brilliant. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. Dr. Rusty. Oh, shit. Fuck yes. You bring your axe down in a wicked chop, severing his arm completely. Ouch. His bracer of fire immunity clangs to the ground. I cast Gignomi's fire strike of flame. Oh, snap. Lying on the ground, you conjure a flaming spear, which flies from your hands to spear Durgaron in the chest, incinerating him completely from the inside out. Damn, Elamon. Durgaron is defeated, but your wounds were too great. I'm afraid Calamastia is dead. I actually feel sad right now. Oh. Better to have died a hero than live as a coward. That was fun. Check out what I drew. Mikey's got serious drawing skills. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. Please. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. You're not done. DVD. Check. Next stop, <laughs> chemistry class. Joy. So what do we come with? Oh. Well, I should be a good drunk, trust me, no? Oh. So, chemistry class. If I'm late to class, that's just one more excuse for mom to sit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like having conversations with kids. Grown ups never ask me what my third favorite reptile is. <laughs> what? Jock's so dumb, he makes jocks look bad. <laughs> Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Uh, okay, wait a second. I'm gonna do the deed first. I gotta read that again. Didn't know what to, what to focus on the donation or what they said in the game, so. <laughs> Gonna open Streamlabs and reread that. <laughs> Lock in with Twitch. Yeah, it just wants to start drunk. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Where do you get that from? I wanted to copy. Didn't work. <laughs> Simon Holland. <laughs> oh, Simon Holland. I have no idea. I don't know. Three giant milkshakes. I don't know him. Sorry. He does movies. Documentaries. <laughs> I never heard of him. But I feel like I've seen him. 
jetzt das so ein. Ja, ja, ich weiß. Okay, the shot, right? Ah, the shot, okay. <lacht> okay. <lacht> It's self-made Baileys, by the way. Pretty strong whiskey. Whoa. Oh. Um, take it elsewhere, or you're both losers. <laughs> Want to take this elsewhere, guys? The mute speaks. <laughs> Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. <laughs> okay. Oh, we can pass. Never mind. At what age is it appropriate to tell my dog that he's adopted? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck, dude? <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> you wanna see us lying under the table, right? Oh god. <coughs> yeah, for Ian, Rusty. Where do you get those quotes from? I can't find them, but they're. <laughs> do you tell your dog he's adopted? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna slow down now. Yeah, good for us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's <it's> dead. <laughs> because half of them, Elias is gone for now. Oh. Online fun. I know that website, I think I've used it um, when I had a project in school and we were bored. <laughs> Cat hair everywhere. Okay, let's keep on going. How much, um, how much is it? Six head, 100 milliliters. Yeah. Yeah, 700. Pays tuition? How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. <laughs> you know something, Prescott? I'm gonna do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! No. Oh. <laughs> step in. Step in, step in. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. <clears throat> I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Uh. Back off. Back off? As in, go away? No one's interested in your crap. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? How about picking on someone your own size, which I hear is pretty small? <laughs> You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. Uh, What's oh. crazy is that you haven't been held back yet. How is that possible? You want a piece of this? <laughs> you mean your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. Just pull his hair already. 
Did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. Oh. Go, Samantha. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? Ah, oh, come on. You're welcome. <laughs> Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> Little late. No problem, Skip. Oh, mom. That we talk, me too. I know you're doing your best. Love you. <laughs> yeah, let's get into the school. <laughs> Maybe if I delay going inside long enough, Blackwell will be overrun by future excellence. And by future excellence, I mean mole people. Oh, good. You're here. 